Hi, here I've got an Amazon Echo Dot second generation. I'm gonna have a look and see what's inside it, okay? First things first, we get a pry tool, flexible metal pry tool, and just pry this rubber off the bottom. The rubber, rubber foot, sheet of self adhesive rubber, and then don't want to stick that to the kitchen towel particularly, so stick it to, I've got some wax paper here for the back of a row of labels. Stick it on there, it won't, it won't stick to that, just keep it dust free. So you've got four T9 screws in there, Torx T9. Got a Torx driver here with a star shaped bit. So it's still quite sticky, you can see it's still got the, the uh, glue residue on there. So try not to put your fingers on there too much if you can help it. Well, you may, not, you may not be doing this, but I am, certainly am. I love seeing what's inside stuff. So, yeah, four, t four Torx T9s. That's all there is holding this thing shut. It's a nice bit of kit, actually. It's uh, nice and solidly built. Well, I say solidly built it feels heavy and weighty but actually as you'll see in a minute some of that is deceptive and all the screws are the same length they're self tappers self tapping screws excuse my fingernails a bit rough there you go Torx T9 self tapping screws there's one left in there to come out And we'll have access to her guts. There you go, look, straight away. That's the base. With a sheet of plastic inside there. Well, I say sheet, it's a, it's a plastic form, it's plastic moulding of some sort. And four pillars, which are the screw pillars. Uh, that's the base part. Yeah, this is what this is what gives it the weight. This is the uh, die cast. This is a die cast piece here, a circular die cast piece. Not sure which metal which metal that is. Some sort of alloy, I should think. Um, there's a ribbon connector here. You can see this. Uh, that's the camera lens. There's a ribbon connector there, which I can remove by flipping it upwards. A suitable tool on my finger now. No, okay, it won't come off. Perhaps I'll just try pulling it out with some tweezers, that might work. So, get the tweezers out. Flat ended precision tweezers. Give it a tug. Give that a tug. Will it come out just by tugging? No, there's definitely some sort of clamp on there. I need to work this out. So, I'll get my magnifier. Have a quick look. See what see what sort of lever this is. This cable is using to hold it in. Uh, looks like it is a hinge up one. Or maybe it slides back. Let's try sliding it back. No, it's a hinge up, I think. Oops, I broke it. <laughs> okay, don't do that, do I? Break the connector, it's too brittle. Connector of the ribbon cables is way too brittle. But never mind, it's still in there. That's the main thing. Um, underneath, you will see a... I'll try and show you this without actually... Taking the ribbon cable out. There's a die cast piece which is covered with a rubber mat. At the top end, you see the microphone board, which is basically another plastic molding, which is molding, which is a spacer. And there you have the microphone board. And there are the there's the microphone array. You can see, <clears throat> excuse me, see around the perimeter of the board. You have these little gold squares, oblongs here. These are microphones, and there's uh, 
one, two, there's six of them. As you can see on top. Oh, you can't see on top. There's just a ring of vents, perforations, so you won't see that on top. Um, yeah, the... Uh, I think these are the LEDs for the ring here. I don't know how they shine outwards. Do not know. At all. How they shine out. Oh, sorry, there's seven microphones. There's another one in the middle there. Can you see that? Just there. Another microphone, so that's seven microphones. Elements. Um, the top board. Yeah, it just pops out. There we go. There we go. There's the button plastic, the, the button assembly there with the light ring here, the light ring diffuser, this translucent white plastic. Um, this is the button, tactile button board here um, with, a, with a very sort of dense rubber foam on top. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what sort of foam that is. It doesn't really matter though. That's the, there's your buttons. There's the outer. Actually, do you know what those gold rings are for actually? They're not making contact between the inside and the outside because that's not contact. That's actually, these little um, yellow things aren't contact. These are tactile buttons, surface mount tactile buttons. So I'm not sure there's a gold ring there. But anyway, on each one. Anyway, so... Um, yeah, that's an Amazon Echo Dot second generation inside. Um, I'll see if I can get this other connector off. PC, the, the flex, the ribbon flex cable, cable says Ikea 4317. You can see that here, can't you? And it says ID mic PCB atop near the connector. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I was going to say I was, was going to say there's not much to it, but there's quite a lot to it. Obviously the the uh, microcontrollers etc inside there I'll make it all work. Um, how do I get this bottom board off? Try to work out how to get this bottom board here out of the die-cast housing. Or is it glued in? Who knows? Perhaps I don't want to do that. <laughs> Since I've... You see, you see under, under the magnifier here, if you can see that. No, it magnifies. Let me give the magnifier a clean so you can see it. Give it a little scrub so you can see it. Right, okay. Um... The connector, as I was lifting up, I fractured the connector housing. So you can see that under there. The middle part is broken off. So I don't want to try and lift that one up too much more because the, the moment the ribbon cable is held captive in there, and if I pull it, I may, I may not get it back in again. So I might try from the other end. Do you know, I don't think it's worth it, to be honest with you. I don't think it's worth the hassle. Um, I'll get this back together again. And then... Uh, I will, uh, yeah, see you soon. Cheers. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye.